Hey folks, it's Finn. Welcome to your September vlog. It is the 4th of September and yes, I'm back at the gym and I'm actually really, 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 honestly enjoying it. Now that I'm not doing any grand statements about weight loss or any of that, I'm just going to the gym, I'm enjoying it and I'm trying to have less Ben and Jerry's. No grand statements, like I said in my last video, just enjoying gym, enjoying healthy food, yes. Right now, I am packing. We've got a very busy month ahead for September. If you saw my last video, you'll know that I'm off to Cornwall, off to spend some time with some friends by a lake in a lodge, which is going to be lovely. And then I'm off to Tiverton to get my arm graft tattooed. So beginning of September very busy and that's why behind me here is a complete mess of stuff that I need to pack and think about. Also sat here thinking about content for the month ahead and working out if I can have any time to put some videos up front for you or not. Right now I don't know. Um, what else is coming in September? Oh, end of September 30th we have the Open University Freshers Week where I'm going up to the OU campus in Milton Keynes again. This time I'm on the sofa with Karen at Student Hub Live and we're doing a piece about Freshers Week, specifically about studying with mental health, which is something I'm really passionate about talking about. So looking forward to that. So yeah, welcome to September. Morning folks. Not quite camera ready, but there we go. Um, I'm just getting ready to head off for camping. It's Thursday, it's um, 9.48 a.m. This morning, because I'm off to get my tattoo done, those who've seen the video will know that I'm getting some of mum's ashes put into the tattoo. And so this morning I've got like a little um, vase thing. So I had to get some ashes out of that. Oh my God, that was not easy to do. But anyway, look, we have here, it's mum glitter. That's what it is. It is mum glitter. So next Wednesday, the 11th, I should be sitting for my tattoo and a little bit of mum will be in my arm, which will be amazing because then she'll always be with me and she'll be on stage at the TEDx with me as well, which is incredible. So yeah, bit of a funny morning, <laughs> really doing this was a bit, ow. But anyway, it's lovely that she's actually coming to Cornwall with me as well. So she gets to come on a little camping holiday and then she gets to be part of being reborn in a Phoenix tattoo. I think she'd be pretty happy with that. Here we are in Blagton Farm then and it's absolutely hoofing it down with rain. Hello. Here's everybody. It's like a big old gear outing and it's great fun. <laughs> We're loving it. <laughs> So this is our lovely kitchen. Look at this. We've even got a fecking washing machine. It's amazing. We've brought like enough food to feed like a whole festival. Mm, food. Let me show you the fridge. What we've got in the fridge. And we're about to go shopping. So we're not going to starve. Me and Chris are sharing a bed. Not my normal Chris. This is my other Chris. We shared a bed, didn't we? Wasn't it fun? Did, did. <laughs> and then I'm going to show you the bathroom. We have... I can't find the light switch. That's where we all shower together. <laughs> oh, that's what they don't know yet. That's later, isn't it? When we're all, we're all high on sugar, we're going to get in the shower together. And then there's the other bedroom. And there's Bear. So yeah. Don't forget Princess. Where's Princess? Oh, Stephen. What's their other name? Princess. Steve. Boudica. Boudica Steve. Boudica and Princess. Boudica and Princess. Right, make sure I'm not walking into the glass. So it's not really camping. This is, this is glamping extraordinaire. So yes, what's on the cards today then, gentlemen? What are we doing? <coughs> when all of us get together, what exciting things do we all do? Ping pong. Ping pong. Swimming, swimming. Oh, we did go swimming this morning, didn't we? That was epic. So we're going to go shopping 
Chris is going to cook again. And then Chris is going to cook again. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> and then we're going to go and play ping pong, aren't we? And then um, football. And then football. Piano. Yes. Give us a little tune. <laughs> and then it's going to do the movies around the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be great. See, we now had a party, don't oh, we? <gasps> yes. No, no, because we will, we will we argue. Can rules so that it's good. Yeah. What could we? Because you can't do it as a drinking game. So what could we do? What could? Oh, there are <gasps> trivial pursuits. We could no, we could do it with like <laughs> dares, <laughs> couldn't we? Chris is like no. Is the cheese we? not enough for you? The cheese. Cheese, cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cheese wedges. I was like, no, I don't get rewarded yeah, with cheese. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to feed me cheese. Well, I was some other kind of cheese, but it's okay. Ew. Yeah, that's another Ew. thing we're together. Talk about penises. Talk, yes, there has been lots of sex talk. I have actually been so shocked to hear it. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I've been <laughs> really, really disturbed by all the penis jokes. It, wasn't, us. it <laughs> wasn't me. What are you doing? <laughs> I was trying to record you dancing. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Especially with the way the chest, you're just bouncing the chest set in front of your groin there. <laughs> so we're living it up tonight playing chess, are we? <laughs> we're gaying up chess. We're gaying up chess, did you say? It's the new gay-o game. Gay-o game? Okay. And how, do, and how are we going to play gay chess? <laughs> we got queens. <laughs> oh, there's plenty of queens here. <laughs> Talk about yourself again. Thank you. on a road trip we are off to Loo, not to the Loo, but Loo in Cornwall. Is Loo actually in Cornwall? Yes. We think Loo is in Cornwall. So we go to Cornwall. Road trip! So we have arrived in Loo for the day. We have a little wonder because it's quite flat for Ben so we thought it would be good. But it is really really busy and for good reason. This is like a proper beautiful Cornish village. It's lovely. This is what we do on Lads Holiday. We hang out with the birds. <laughs> oh, they're finding all the bits of cake that are on the floor. Well, we didn't need to hoover today, didn't Exactly. We? Oh my God, that's so much better than hoovering, isn't it? Yes. Today, we are wandering in the woods. I told you this boy's holiday was like massive. Happy Monday, happy Monday. I was packing, we are packing and leaving. Ben has brought the entire contents of the whole world with him and he's packing it. Have we checked what? Have you checked all the drawers? Yes. I've been a good boy and checked all my drawers. <laughs> um, so yeah, now I'm packing and I'm getting in the van with Ben, Sam and Chris and heading to Tiverton. <laughs> Don't be in the back, yeah. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
Hey folks, so I have arrived in Tiverton, found my Airbnb and settled in. I am so tired. It's been a really, really lovely weekend with everybody, but I am a bit peopled out. So I've actually just decided that this time in Tiverton, this is going to be for me. I'm just going to chill out a bit, have some downtime, get some work done before having my tattoo on Wednesday, which I'm very excited about. Morning folks, it's Wednesday, the 11th of September, which means it's tattoo day. And I have mum glitter ready and a picture of mum to take with me. I'm nervous, just because I'm nervous and it might hurt a bit. My other tattoo wasn't too bad at all, but I'm not sure how it's going to be going from numb scar tissue to feeling tissue. It's going to be strange and it's going to take a number of hours, I think, to do the outline. But I am excited and I'll update you later. Here I am at Grindstone Studios. Look, it's been done. No, it's just the outline. Here we go. Hi, honeys, I'm home. <laughs> so it's 26 minutes past eight. We finished at 7.40. Eight hours sitting. Wasn't as bad as I thought it might be, but I'm tired more than anything. So we have cling film on it at the moment because it's bleeding. Um, gonna wash it before bed, change the cling film, and then Silas is gonna redress it in the morning. Morning folks, happy Thursday. I've had my tattoo redressed and now I'm on the way home. Morning folks, happy Saturday. I got back really late on Thursday night and yesterday was just a duvet day. In fact, my duvet is still on the sofa and I'm about to get back under it because I'm that tired. Going away with the guys was lovely, but it wore me out. And then the tattoos wore me out as well. I'm wondering, you know, if anyone out there has got thyroid issues, please enlighten me whether this is the case. When my immune system seems to be a bit battered, I seem to get extra fatigued. Now, the thyroid is attached to the endocrine system. So is it possible that having a tattoo and that kind of trauma of my, on my body can make my thyroid act up? Because it certainly feels like it. I am shattered. All I did yesterday was have one little Skype meeting because I'm off to the OU at the end of this month to do some fresher stuff on the sofa. I'll tell you more about that. Um, but that's all I managed yesterday. And I'll tell you what, that's all I'm going to be managing today as well is just duvet surfing. So, yeah. But look, I did get something really lovely. There was a parcel waiting for me, which I completely forgot to open till this morning. And look what I got, look what I got, look what I got. How cute is he? Mini sheep. And this really lovely Trans Fellas wristband. It looks tiny, but it fits my wrist. And this lovely, lovely thank you card from Cohen at Trans Fellas with really lovely message. Absolutely lovely to come home to and lifts my spirits today, I can tell you, because I am just feeling a bit meh. Um, yeah, duvet day. Thank you. Hey folks, I can't really think if I've checked in much this week or not, it's Friday. It's been a really weird week. This has really thrown my thyroid completely out of whack, I think. I've been really, really tired. I and mean, it was a big week going out with the boys for a week and then to Devon. And with everything that's going on at the moment, and this was quite emotional anyway because of mum. But I've been shattered this week. Um, I've just managed to catch up with some work. And this has been holding me back, not just thyroid, but it's quite been quite painful. It's actually been more painful after the tattoo than during. And that's just because it's a graft and the graft skin swells and it's very tight. I'm taking the derma skin off because it's a bit sore in places, but just waiting to hear back from Silas, see if I can put some moisturiser on and see if that helps. It's just tight. I mean, my graft was always tight. It's tight and bruised. And yeah, I just want a healed arm now. So the furfer has at last got a day off today. So we spent half of it in bed <laughs> and now we've just got up to come for a wander and get some exercise because it's beautiful. Look, it's blue sky and beautiful blue sea. And I was gonna say my beautiful blue man, but he's in gray, so that don't work, does it? Hello. Hello. You all right, Cheeky? Yeah, mate. <laughs> I'm not your mate. You are. 
Well, it's taken me a good week and a bit to get over the last bit of this September. It's just been such a busy month. And I forget sometimes that I have certain conditions that mean I get really tired, you know, so I've been pretty wiped out, but feeling good now. The tattoo is doing well. I'm okay, back to normal service. So yeah, it's been a fantastic month. Lots gone on. I'm gonna end this video now, even though it's Friday the 27th of September. I'm gonna end early because I'm traveling up to Milton Keynes to do Student Hub Live. So I want to get this video to you now before that. And then once I've done Student Hub Live, you will get a behind the scenes of that. And I know I showed a brief glimpse of my tattoo in this video, but there is also another video up showing you my arm graft healing and also another look at the tattoo. But there is a vlog to come of the tattoo itself. So that's it for this month. Thank you for sharing September with me. Upcoming in October is a massive month because it's full on preparation for TED Talk in November. So I've got some rehearsal dates to do, to go through the talk, make sure everything's tickety-boo and all of that. Um, so that's gonna be fun and I'll share that with you along the route as well. Just a quick note as well, to everybody still watching who's watched the whole of this video, you are the core members of my Finn fam. So as you're here, at the end of the video, I'm gonna ask you a question. I've asked it a few times and I keep asking it. With everything that's changing in my life, I'm changing up all my content and it means the world to me to know what content you like. I make assumptions that most of you want trans stuff, but perhaps you don't. So in the comments below, I'd love for you to leave me a message. What kind of content do you like seeing from me? What would you like to see more of? Your thoughts, opinions, as always, are very, very much welcomed. Oh, and one more thing before I go, I just want to say a really big sorry to my Ko-Fi supporters who haven't had many early uploads. I'm working on it. It's just been a hectic month, but I will make up to you, I promise. Thanks for watching, folks. Take care of yourselves and see you soon for some more exciting updates. Mwah.